Okay. So remember I said that uh, React is a combination of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Okay, so we have the index HTML here already. And in React, where we are working, where we are working is the JavaScript file, right? And right here we imported the CSS file. This is where we're going to add our styling, and here it is. Okay, so in the app JS, we are going to uh, make it look like the HTML, right? But then it's still a JavaScript. So that's where we have function app, this. Okay, like you're writing a JavaScript. You're calling a function app. Okay, but it's going to return an HTML. So in React, the combination of HTML and JavaScript is what we call JSX. Right, it's not a JavaScript, it's not an HTML totally, right? It's the combination, so we call it JSX. Okay, so we're going to continue. We're going to have our header here, right? Remember, we are building this page, so we have the header here where we have our logo. Okay, so uh. The div class name is very important. It's very important for us to have a general tag. And you don't have to really use the div class name app. You could use something like this, fragments like this, right? An opening and a closing tag. It doesn't have a name, it doesn't have a div or h1. It's just an opening and a closing tag. It works, right? But if you take it out, it's going to give you an error. It's going to have an error. You can see an error there, right? So it's very important to have that closing. Okay, so we have the header, and in our header we have the logo, which is the image tag, remember? And we're going to bring in our image here. Usually we, we type image source and you bring you write a quote, then bring in the image here. But in this case, since we are using JSX, JSX that is React. This is how we introduce our image to the JavaScript file. You have to use the curly braces and import your image, which we, we have done already. And I'm going to type the imported image here, logo, and I close the tag. You see, we have a combination of JavaScript and HTML. Right, I close the tag. Let's see this on the browser. Okay, so the image won't show because we do not see the background. So let's work on the styling. I'm going to split the screen. And all that we have here was just for the default screen we saw before. So I'm just going to delete everything. And we're going to have a fresh styling, just like the normal styling we had in our style.css. It's the same thing, right? We're going to type a body. And we're going to have a margin zero, and padding zero, right? And next thing for the body, this this will be because uh, I'm going to have an let's just say an H2 tag. I'm going to use later on a paragraph tag. So to remove the default margin and padding, I just set the margin and padding to zero. But in the body, I know that the body of the our design is purple so it's a background color of uh, blue violet let's take that out right so let's see what we have now okay can you see that we are getting our page right just like what we had before okay okay so we're going to continue we have that on our header and the next thing we're going to have a main You can see that the difference is that we don't have that doc type or the format and settings we had to do on index HTML here in JavaScript. It's already here in the public folder. I just want to remind you again. Right, it's already in the public folder. 
okay index html so we don't need that again we're only going to concentrate on the body tag right on the content for the body tag which is what we are doing right now combining it with javascript so in the main remember we have an image again so how do we bring in the image remember we use the curly braces and we import the image we need you need to use a semicolon to break the codes see that and i'm going to import the image i need i'm going to call this mockup from the image source which is like in the image folder and it's illustration mockup i'm just going to copy the name directly i don't want to type it so i won't make mistakes copy it and paste it there so right it's there now and next i'm going to do is to introduce the image i just copied to the source folder right so it is simple it's just that mockup right and i'm going to close the tab So this is how you close the tab. You can leave, you can do it like this. It's going to be an error. You close the tab. I'm going to save that. And you can see our image up here. The next thing will be when I create a DV for the content. And what do we have for the contents? Build the community your fans will love. That will be for the heading, which I'm going to use H2 tab. Uh, build the community your fans will love. So I'm going to try and be fast about this because we've done this already. And the paragraph tag, I'm going to use a dummy letter. Find some dialogue. I'm going to use to copy some to make that stuff somewhere. I'm just going to use something like this. Right. Okay. So that's for the pizza. And the last thing we have there is the button. Right. Just like what we have on the you know, usual. HTML and CSS web page. Okay, and that's that's it. So let's see what we have. Okay, right, that's what we have. So all we have to do is just to add the styling to it, right? And to style this, I'm going to be fast. I'm going to the header. Uh, work on image. I'm going to reduce the image to 50%. I think that's too big. I'm going to use 40%. Okay. So I'm going to reduce that to 20%. It's still a little bit too big. I'm going to use 5%. It's too small. Okay, I think this one should be fine. And I'll move on to something else. I'm going to move on to the main. I'm going to design the main and the main uh, display flex. Right. So I'm going to display flex. I'm going to use justified content. Space between. Right, and uh, in the main, okay, okay. Next thing I'm going to do, our stand up, we should have a register here. Right, and uh, next thing I'm going to do is to, for the main, the image, I'm going to reduce the image in the main container. I'm just going to reduce it to, Say thirty percent. Which 
c'était fait pour nous. Je suis un petit peu froid. Ok. Donc, on va en tête courte. And for the team on for the content on the right hand side, I'm going to give it a class name. So here in React, we call it class name. Right. Class name, not class, class name. And I'm going to call that content. So it's just a slight difference from what we do for, with the normal index HTML. So we use a class name content for styling and adding. I'm going to give a width with a 40 percent and a padding top right? Padding top of EM if I remember. Let's see what happens. Okay, it's too wide. Okay, for the main, I'm going to give a padding of EEM just to give spaces away from the wall. Sorry, I'm just trying to be fast. Okay, I need some spaces away from the wall. And it okay, shouldn't be for the main because the main is all this. We need to include the header too. I'm going to add it to the body. Right. Okay, better. I'm going to increase the image a little bit. And let's let's just continue. Okay, so I just want to show you that you can actually use React to build your web page. So next thing I'm going to do is the H2. I'm just going to add the right color to it. I think it's white. I can the font size. I think it's 40 pixels. Color should be white. And what else again? It's correct. That's 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 all. I'm going to go to the paragraph. I'll just copy that. The paragraph. I'm going to use 20 pixels. Right. I think 20 pixels is too much. It's 15. So bad. And you give a little bit of space away from the Heading. I'm going to give a margin of two again, two again. So in case it's a four to five. Okay, so I'm just going to work on the buttons now. So for the buttons which are in the main. Buttons. I'm going to give a padding of two em. And sorry for the setting. I now two em. I don't want a border, border none, and I want a border radius of thirty. So and a color, right? Color. Color should be purple. The background color is white. I think the background color is white or okay, whatever. Let's see what we have here. Okay. So I'm going to add a width to it. I'm going to add a width of 40 percent and I'm going to reduce the padding to 1.5. It's pretty. I'm going to reduce the padding again. This one. Much better. Okay, so we it's almost there. Uh, a little bit of a little bit of uh height away from the logo, which is the main. I'm going to 